Shalom Aleichem. We're here in the Jordan River Valley, in the Great Rift Valley, not far from the crossing at Adam and Wadi Faria, where Abraham would have crossed when he first came here. And it's pretty obvious that you can take a look behind me, and those of you that are familiar with some of the lessons that we taught or have been to Israel, this is a tell. And this tell is called Tel Mehola. However, we don't know whether this is one, the actual Tel Mehola, or there could be a couple of others on the other side, but it seems to be the likely candidate for Tel Mehola. And I'll explain to you what that tell is all about as we begin a series. You guys, we're going to begin a series with this lesson. The next lesson will be at Bethsaida. After that at Chorazin, Capernaum, and so on. We're going to be talking about the concept of discipleship. What is the concept of discipleship? Especially in this land when Jesus says, go and make disciples. Here at Albel Mehola, this is supposedly the town, or this would be the supposed tell, if this is the correct one, this would be the area of Elisha's hometown. And we have the story of Elijah. If you recall, he was up out Mount Carmel, which is going to be probably, oh, maybe 50 miles north and west of here through the Jezreel Valley and close to Haifa today. But the thing is, you remember, they had the encounter with the, the priest of Baal. And then Elijah flees. He goes down to supposedly Sinai. And then the Lord finally ministers to him. He gets up. And God commands him to do something which is very interesting. So we'll go to the text. And in the text, we're in 2 Kings, actually 1 Kings, chapter 19. And this is right after Elijah is at Sinai. Starting in verse 15, the Lord said to him, Go, return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. I like that phrase. We're going to start with the lesson, Go. He's telling Elijah to go. It's time to get up. You've had your rest. It's now time to go and continue your ministry. Go on your way to the wilderness of Damascus. When you have arrived, you shall anoint Hazael king over Aram, and Jehu the son of Nimshi you shall anoint king over Israel. And Elisha, the son of Shaphat of Abel Mehola. So this is really awesome to be at this site. I think you can see not too many tourists stop here because they probably don't know what it is. Like I said, this is the likely place. There are a couple of others on the other side of the Jordan River. But this is the likely place. And you shall anoint as prophet in your place. So in other words, God is saying to Elijah, somebody is coming after this. I want Elisha to be your disciple so that he can continue on in your name later on. So he departs from there in verse 19 as we pick up the story. And from there he found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, while he was plowing with 12 pairs of oxen before him. And he with the 12th. So we're looking at a field and we ask ourselves the question, if we're at Abel Mehola, or maybe is it over there in the Jordan, is this a likely field that he was at? Or maybe the field over there, but we're in the area. The actual modern town of Mahola is right down the road. So we know this is the spot. And again, we're looking at a potential place of where Elisha's hometown was. But imagine, if you would, he's got 12 pairs of oxen, 24 oxen, 12 pairs, and he's plowing. And I tell you, you need 24. If you look at this ground, this is not Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. This is not Minnesota. Pastor Rod is with us. He's never seen so many rocks in his life. This is the rocky ground. You need 24 oxen to plow this land. There's no way you can have one ox. There's, it is just hard as a rock. And so I could just see him here, and all of a sudden Elijah shows up, 
and basically throws his mantle on him. And Elisha left his oxen and ran after Elijah. And he says, please let me kiss my mother and father when I follow you. And Elijah said to him, go back again for what have I done to you? Now this gets very interesting in that story. Because Elijah's coming, putting his mantle over Elisha, which is a signal, which is an ancient way of saying, you are now to be me. I'm taking you under my authority. Elijah's basically saying, without even saying it, when I die, you have to take over my prophet work, my work for the Lord. And Elisha is basically saying, um, you know, this is all well and good, but I probably should go back to town. I should probably go to my mom and my dad, and I probably should say to them, listen, mom, dad, uh, Elijah's just picked me as his disciple. Uh, I wanted to kiss you goodbye. I wanted to pick up my, uh, my MP3 player. And I wanted to pick up my new uh, backpack. I didn't expect this. And then I'll go with Elijah. 